You're just the one that says a loser. <laughs> 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 Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. I am getting a few things done here at the house and I thought I'm gonna pick up the camera and say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. Drew my hair up today because it was hair wash day but I really don't wanna wash it till tomorrow so I don't even know what's going on up there. I just know it's out of my way. I don't have to think about it. I woke up super early today and got to the gym. I have a little bit of a busy afternoon today. We tend to travel quite a bit and it's been so awesome for our family that we use the TSA pre-check and it just helps getting through security so much, so much easier, so much faster especially with Brandon in the bag that he carries with laptop, drone, cameras, GoPros, batteries, all the things. Each kid has a tablet or device of some kind in their bag and it just makes getting through security like 100 million times easier. So technically you're supposed to have TSA pre-check if you are 13 and older. We just like forgot to do it when crew turned 13. He's gotten by. There was one time he didn't. We decided that this next trip that we have coming up, we want it to be as seamless as possible. So we decided to get crew an appointment at TSA pre-check to get him all registered, all taken care of and all done. So I had to wait for a minute because I was waiting for his new passport to come. We have gotten the passport. Now we can make that appointment and do that. So we're going to take him to go do that today. And I'm excited. But I'm also kind of sad because I'm like sad. Now I have three kids that need the TSA because they're old enough. Beautiful when they grow up. It's also so sad. I had such high hopes for today that it was going to just be beautiful. And it is raining outside and it's like a thick rain. It looks like it's wanting to be snow. It's wanting so hard to be snow. Hopefully it just stays with rain. I went and washed my car today too. Mostly because you couldn't see out the back camera. Could have just used my thumb to like shine it, clean it off. I didn't. I just went and washed my whole car. It's raining. I need it. I say this every day. I need the rain, so... Brandon's turning on the subwoofer downstairs. He's working out. I have kind of gotten all cozy. Threw on a jacket just now because I have to go in the cold storage. There is something I am looking for. Paper I am looking for. Because I don't know where it's at. And I'm thinking it's got to be somewhere in the cold storage. Cold room downstairs. Layered up. That's why I never look for it is because I don't want to freeze. So I put on some slippers, some thick slippers, and I put on a jacket. I'm going to go down and I'm going to find this little guy. Wish me luck. My nose is freezing and it's been running nonstop. It's just chilly down there. But I organized a bunch of things and I found two things I was looking for. I have not found the one that I really want to find. It's really frustrating to me, but it's okay. I'm sure I'll come across it eventually. And if not, that's okay too. But you guys, after Crew's appointment to go get his TSA pre-check done, we are like almost all the way to Maddie's house. So we're going to go over to Maddie's house. You guys, Maddie's doing something so huge this weekend. I probably feel the magnitude of what she's doing more than any other person in my family. But she's running her very first ever half marathon. She's running it in Vegas. She's doing the rock and roll half. And you guys, she's so tough. Like it's going to be so awesome for her. I'm so excited. I always appreciated and was so grateful for the people that were so kind and sweet to me and thought of me and brought me a little care package. So I went and got a couple of things for Maddie that I wanted to put in hers. This is a, just some Epsom salts. I loved soaking in those after I was done with a run. I don't know if she'll want to do that in the hotel or not. Gosh, I would almost risk a hotel bath just to relax my muscles. Liquid IV is such an amazing drink after races. I also got some little clean Kleenexes because I always cry at the finish line. And also one thing is when I'm running, if my lips are not totally covered in chapstick, I'm so annoyed. And then I stand there and like lick my lips the whole time. Even if she wants to just take this with her to the starting line, put it on and toss it. Also, I sometimes liked chewing gum while I was running. I stuck a couple of sticks of gum in my running belt. I really liked that. Let's just say she's definitely gonna need this after she's done. I know that she's young and limber way more than I am. This is gonna be her friend after from her sore muscles. And I'll talk about this after my run. It was very sick after my run. I now know I'm a little bit more experienced of what I did wrong. I needed to get those electrolytes like ASAP. And I found if I got a bag of chips after every race or long run, I was good. And I was like, wait a minute, I probably should be like putting in this instead of chips. I learned. I still enjoy the chips after I run. Last but not least, a little lotion. It's awesome. And my little finishing touch, some Mindy's Best hair tie. She can throw her hair up. It is a constant battle when you're running. I believe in doing your best because your best is enough. And that's like something I talk about all the time. I am going to put this in her little care package. Put it in this cute little bag. We're going to take it to her and go drop it off at her apartment today. I can't wait to hear how the race goes. I'm so excited for her. I'm hoping that she'll FaceTime me that night and we can talk all about it. What's up? Can I grab a snack? Hi. Can I grab a snack? Are you coming? Oh, dad said the whole family is coming. Oh, sure. Yeah, the whole family's coming? Yep. Everybody has to get in the car right this second. That's why we're doing the car switchy switch. Travel. 
Back in the car now from just the most grueling process there, the TSA pre-check. My goodness, you guys, it is so difficult. Nobody signed up for it, so we can keep having short lines at the airport now. <laughs> it is honestly so simple, and guess what else? We just found out that it just changed, like this law or rule, whatever you wanna call it, just changed like in the last couple months. Yes. But you now only have to get TSA pre-check when you are 17. So you yeah. can go on your parents' KTN, your known traveler number, up until age 17. So Kirby Doo didn't even need it. But we made the appointment, we had everything set up, all of his information was in the system, so we thought, let's just get it for him. It's we good for there. five years. And then he's got his own number and he can just renew that number as he goes along. So Rai Guy's got it, Maddie's got it, Cruz got it, but nobody else needs it until they're 17. That's the new rule. I know. It's pretty awesome. Now that makes it 100% seamless. Not only that, that was, I think, like kind of the last technicality before, although we do have some things we need to book, like our drink packages and excursions and stuff still. But that was the last yeah. technicality for this cruise. We have all the passports in hand, known travel numbers for everybody who needs them. I think we are pretty much set on that end of things. Now we just got to start shopping, buying some swimming suits, getting some bigger pants for all the food we're going to be eating, yeah. all the good stuff that you need for a cruise. <laughs> We were hoping to see Maddie because we are in her town, P-Town, Provo. Not to be confused with Provo Densiales in Turks and Caicos, but she has a very big deal coming up. I have not talked about it much in the vlog because we did not want to put that additional pressure on her in case she decided to bail out because it was something that she put on the calendar as like a, yeah, I'll try and train for this. But she's doing she's her first do ever half marathon. It is in Las Vegas and she is leaving this weekend. And so this is our opportunity to wish her well, wish her luck, drop off a little goodie bag for her. So mom's got it right here, but we just found out. We just messaged her and said, hey, we're in the area. We want to drop off this good luck basket to you. She's actually at work. And then she's got class. She's got dinner. She's got college stuff she's going on. busy, awesome life. So, unfortunately, the only time we've got available today and before she leaves is this moment. So we're going to go ahead and make it a drop at her place. We're going to drop it over the roommates. Hopefully they don't eat all the goodies. Is there any goodies in there? Like a running thing? I did throw in some chips. These were my favorite chips. Not really much for them Okay, well, eat. that's good. So we're going to drop this off for her to wish her well. But we were hoping to see her, give her a big hug. That's actually the reason the entire family came. You don't need the whole family to go get crew. TSA pre-check. The reason we all came was I'm to go done. get Maddie a hug and to wish her well, to wish her luck. So Maddie, if you see this, which I know you won't because you're too busy training, running, and living that college life. Good luck. We love you. You're going to absolutely She's crush it. You do amazing. Whoa, what? Prime! You guys got attacked by the Prime Fairy. Oh, what? <laughs> hey, you were in the perfect Dude, yeah, there is this. so much freaking stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was gonna say the Tooth Fairy. Cupid, <laughs> Cupid had to really take some time Look studying all of us out. That is not Look just a flyby what? from Cupid. That is a stop and hover maneuver stop right there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wow. We have to bring these in. What? Kind of a fun late season surprise from Cupid. I know, wasn't that so fun? Get a little bing bong at the door, you're expecting maybe a fun package, who knows? And you open up and you've been visited by the love fairy. I don't know what you would call Cupid, but yeah, I don't know. Fairy. Cool thing though was that Mana Reese and Papa happened Wait, to be coming to visit right then. It's kind of crazy. They were timing, able to come but... in and kind of celebrate that moment with us, which I thought was nice because we actually didn't get to do Valentine's with them. So it was ironic that we could do that. Anyhow. Anywho. That was awesome. That was fun. But you guys, Maddie is facing. We've been I was talking to her tonight. Mountain. She's really not. I don't know. Do you know much about the actual run itself? Is, so, it, is there any incline? From is what I've level? been told, I don't know. Actually, I haven't looked up the course map. She's just running. But don't you run like all the Down the strip? strip and back. You guys, what yeah. a sight. I wish they that we could actually. Actually see that because they close down the strip and then they run on it with yeah. no cars. Like the only way you can do that is if you were in this marathon. So maybe we'll see if somebody there can get us some video or something so yeah. that we could kind of see how I that know she goes. Because um, so. that could be a lot of fun. I wish we could go, but it's end of term, so they're trying to really cross those T's and dot those I's, as they say, so they can get those A's. I usually say cross the I's and dot the T's, whatever. Yeah, they both work. You know, we love you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. We had a great day. We're grateful that you're here. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Get out of here. You're just the one that says I'm a loser. <laughs> You're the only 
dirt around. Keep it. This one doesn't need to be. Gotta put your bob on it. <laughs> you got murdered. It's a new prank. Do you cheer? Wait, Hazel, what are you? <laughs>